Welcome back to a brand new video. TVF Gaming jumping once again into Arc Ascended, back in Arc Omega Ascended. Excited as always to get going today. This should be Sunday's video recording super, super early on a Sunday. If I can't get it edited and out on time, it'll end up being Monday or Tuesday's video, but we'll figure that out. Should have videos all week. I got a little bit of time to actually pre-record this week for this week's videos. We've got a couple plans. I'm actually going to lay them out real quick. Today, I'm going to try to level up our Harvester Theory. We've been actually taking that guy and really beefing him up. He's already got 10 breeding paragons. We need to start leveling him up, start adding some more paragons in. Maybe go kill some theories and see if we can get some more paragons added. Take it up through Elite and Apex. I'm sorry, Prime and Apex. And then eventually take that against Utility Dinos. So next episode after this one, we'll be going after the Utility Dinos. So that's kind of the goal in the next one. We spent a little bit of time in between episodes going for more Guardian Dinos, and I still want to do our drones over there. We've got a bunch of other Dinos that we still need to take out and check out. We also got a gift from our friends Juice and Cross, or Juice and Bunny here on the server. Absolutely awesome Dodo Rexes they hooked us up with. I don't even what kind of Dodo Rexes are you? These are... Oh, they're Tsunami. Look at that. 50 million Dodo Rex. I think... Didn't these have breeding paragons? I thought... Maybe I'm going crazy here. Yeah, already got 10 breeding paragons on these ones. They also hooked us up with these really cool otters. They're absorbent otters. So I'm guessing that I could put this guy on my shoulder, and as long as his little effect is going, we would be, like, really, really safe. I'm not 100% sure how that works, but I, I need to kind of look into more of the Guardian stuff. But I took a bunch of time in between episodes just going crazy summoning Guardian Dinos. Oh, crap. We actually got a little bit of problem over here. Hold on. Hold on. Stand by. What are you? You are huge. There we go. All right. <laughs> that would be really sad if our guy died back here. But we got to just a ton of dinos that we went and got tamed up. I did record all this, so if you guys want to see it in the video, I could add it in. But it was basically just me summoning over and over and over and over and over and over again. But we got some really cool stuff. We got those guys previously. So we already had the Manticore. We already had the Dragon. But I got a Megapithecus, but it's only, I think it's only Alpha, unfortunately. Yeah, that one's alpha. I got a dodo wyvern, but we, we don't have a, a pair for it just yet. But I got these guys. These guys I'm excited about. Some elementals. Unfortunately, one of them is a beta, so we'd have to get that guy. Uh, we'd have to breed it out until we can eventually get two elites and then go crazy. Could you imagine having a, a elite reflect rock elemental with ten breeding paragons? Would be pretty beast mode. Same with the rexes. I got a couple rexes. They're all females, so we'd have to flip one. Or well, I'm sorry, they're both females. We had one more that was a beta or an alpha. But we got a couple of elite rexes. One is a resilient. One is a reflect. We got a couple of UDs, a collective and a reflect. A couple of thornies, a control and a, another control. A couple of lightning wyverns, reflect and both reflect. Okay. And then the hyena dons. I've got a shield and a resilient. I thought these were three bears, but that's actually a polar bear in the middle, but we've got, oh, and it's only an alpha. Oh, dang. And then we've got a elite absorbent and a resilient. A couple thylas, collective, control, and resilient. A couple of bufos, a couple of terror birds. You guys get the deal. Basically a bunch of cool dinos. I need to kind of figure out what out of this whole collection we would like to start breeding up and kind of adding to our breeding programs that's been my favorite thing this season is to honestly get heavy heavy into the breeding if you guys ever follow if you guys followed the channel from way back when our first few eternal playthroughs breeding is probably one of my favorite things to do to actually sit down and just go crazy with it and i, I used to really enjoy it in ase and this is the kind of the first mod that's made me enjoy it again in asa so i'm super super excited to get further into this one we used to go crazy breeding a bunch of eternal things and now with this one Breeding matters more than ever in this mod, so it's absolutely awesome. I've really enjoyed it. But this is kind of our collection. This will be the last thing we do before we get started with today's. I know it's kind of a long intro, but we got a lot of updates because we do a lot of grinding in between episodes. Like we, what, last episode was two days ago, three days ago. And in between there, I've played quite a few hours each day. Like I'm actually spending quite a bit of time just AFK breeding, and then we do a little bit of grinding of, of eating dinos and just lots of different stuff in here. But what we've been, what we try to do in each episode is kind of give you like a quick update. So the wolves are kind of maxed out where they're at. They're stuck at 283. The theories are stuck at 297 on the harvesting and two. Oh, actually, they, they all made it to 297. Also, since they bred close to each other, <laughs> it seems like the colors mixed between them because they're completely different dinos, so they can't breed together. But uh, the colors started to match up. The levels started to match up. Did the stats and the stats. So it's something weird with the way that Omega does effects. Sometimes if you breed like these guys and these guys, 
somewhat like in the same area the eggs when you hatch them out you might get nothing but meteor guys even though these guys lay the eggs it's super super weird all right and then uh the type of mermos we've been kind of cruising with those guys we got the elite fire burst the volatile i think volatile is what we're going to work with so that's kind of the goal here and then of course we've got our giant ridiculous collection of dinos the car chars all the dragons in the back and then the spinos that we're going to do next episode this episode is going to be all about our theories over here. The harvesting theories and the spinos in the back. So let me clean all this up. Kind of a nightmare mess right now. Let me clean everything up. Give me about 30 seconds or several minutes. Okay, one other thing that we worked on the last few days is we've been doing raptor and uranio breeding from the guardian tier. Now, I don't know if I like the control guys. I'm not 100% sure. I'd rather have like the collective or the re reflect or the resilient or the absorbent. I think that control might not be the one I like, but from what I read, it's not, it's not bad, bad. But what we can do is if I can eventually get breeding paragons on this, which I haven't so far, and I've been breeding these guys like crazy, we're up to 271 on that guy with a bunch of mutations and unfortunately just have not gotten lucky enough to get an actual paragon on there yet not even one paragon across the entire thing but we got all those guys we're going to get them breeding here in just a second and then on the uranios i tamed up a reflect uranio so what i would like to do is take these control guys and flip them over to reflex and do nothing but reflect the rest of the way on those guys because i think reflects are a lot of fun plus uranios are really easy to level up that'd be a lot of fun to mess with those guys but yeah i'm not sure about the control i'll still keep controls around but i just don't know if that's what we're going to use very often but let me at least get these guys set up to breed real quick. And then the other thing we're going to do is check our DPS stuff. I didn't realize there's a DPS dummy in Omega. And you guys told me about it in the comments forever ago. But as usual, I, I read it and it doesn't always make sense until I get to it. And then we're like, oh, that's what you guys were talking about. So that's kind of what we're dealing with right now. Let's go ahead and do the, the pulse real quick just to make sure I don't accidentally get them breeding before the pulse is ready. We can go ahead and do the thing on this guy here. Come on. Come on. The guy in the middle. Oh, I missed. Try again. Nailed it. All right, you guys all breeding? There we go. All right, cool. They're going. We'll get the males going, or the raptors going too. Go all the way around this one, that one, that one, that one. We can go ahead and do the middle too. Get that one going, and they'll start breeding right away. All right. Are you already breeding? That one's already breeding. That one's already breeding. There you go. All right, there you go. We'll have a bunch of raptor and uranio eggs ready to go when we're ready later. Uh, You guys are close enough for the eggs to get picked up, right? Should I double check? Okay, just checking. All right, so that's that. These are the guys over here to my left that we're going to be messing with today, the Spinos and the Therry, so I need to go check if we have a good saddle. But before we do that, I did want to check out, since we've got some of our guys kind of maxed out where they're going, I want to check out the DPS dummy. I haven't really messed with this before. This is the DPS dummy from the Omega mod that tells you how much damage you do for one hit. And then if you keep attacking it, then you get yourself a, a overtime like damage per second thing. So it's really cool. So we'll check out like some of the, we can really do all these guys. So we can kind of go through each one because like our ultimate, obviously that's one of our strongest guys. Oh, let's move you around. Our Giga is super, super strong now. Our Uranio looking pretty good. So these are kind of our some of our biggest and baddest dinos so far. Oh, th this one. Is this this one? No, this one here. Uh, some, one of the other tribes gave us this one. I can't remember if it was Cross or Juice. or I can't remember who it was, but they dropped off this spider here. So we've got that one to check out. I might be saying wrong who gave us that one. I can't actually remember for sure. But yeah, we're going to test out just super quick our little Titan and Murma friends here. And I might be throwing out multiple of the same one. But just so that way we can get an idea. And yeah, I think I got male, female of a couple of these. But they're pretty much maxed out where they're going to go level-wise. They've all got 10 breeding paragons. So this will give us a good idea of how we're doing damage-wise on our drones. And figure out which ones we want to continue with going forward. So that's kind of the goal there. Is that everybody? All right, sweet. So you guys kind of said that the volatile is amazing. And that's something we maybe want to take in. So we might start working on that one. But let's go ahead and see. So this is Bab. This was our original one that's got several breeding paragons on it. So with this one, we're doing 355. And once we do it so many times, up top we'll get a little thing. 497,000 per second. That's insane, right? That's absolutely awesome. So Bab is pretty tough. And I, I should be writing this down so I can remember it. But we're going to test all the soldiers. So this is a Wind 301. So there's no paragons. And it's just Elite. But 93,000. So if we throw in Apex and Prime on this guy, it's going to be a complete monster, a powerhouse. So that's the wind. So wind is amazing. And aren't you a, is Bab a wind? 
Oh, Bat was a wind, and this is just a, a going to be an upgraded version because of the breeding paragons. Awesome. That'd be super fun to take around. And then that's just another wind one. We already did that. This is our fire burst. Yeah. Let's check out the fire burst with 10 breeding paragons. And I didn't check the power. I should have done that. So 85,000. Definitely not bad. There we go. Get that going. And if we do a headshot, it seems to do more. Yeah. Oh, it does. Okay, that's interesting. Well, let's just do body just so we can see what it is. And then if we do the power, it does a bunch. Look at that. How cool is that? Very cool. So that is that guy. Let's pick these up as we go so we can get them out of the way. Plus, we can stop listening to that buzzing sound. So that's the fire guy. And you are a fire as well. And then this is our volatile. Volatile's up to 313. This might be our highest level. This guy is a lot of fun. 71,000, but when we do the power, the power is crazy. So watch. So when we finish that, that's 99,000. And then we do the power. So that with the power with the other one going, we end up pretty high DPS. So that's awesome. So that's the volatile guy. That's going to be a lot of fun to mess around with. So the soldiers seem to be a lot stronger. The drones, not as strong, and they're really, really, really slow. So we'll probably end up doing the soldiers more. But these guys can go into caves since we can't fly in caves on the server. And these guys are doing 20,000. So way, way, way less. But it kind of gives you an idea of where they're at. And these guys, once again, they've got 10, but they they, don't, they are just elite. They're not, they're not powered up to Prime or Apex or anything like that. That's the fire guy. Oh, that's also a fire guy. And then this is our volatile. Got a little pink face on it. And then we go like so. That's not too bad. 20. And like I said, way, way less than the other one. But once we go further through the paragons, it's going to be kind of beast mode. Same with this guy here. And, of course, they've got the little volatile attack too. So, uh, lag, maybe? Okay, there we go. A little bit lower on that one. But there you go. Just kind of gives you an idea of how those guys are doing. And then our big bads, of course. Broody, probably our best because of health does 11 or 5 million damage depending on whether it's a head or body shot and you can see the dps on that one is insane look at that 14 million crazy and it does extra because of the whole knockback thing very nice and then our main spider oh i haven't tested this weaver one let's see how their weaver is doing 1.1 million that's awesome and i don't know what what's a weaver attack oh 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 i wasn't ready for that to happen Oh, that's awesome. So the Weaver is a unique, and it's fire, Starfire and Singularity. Wow. That's cool. And then Charlotte, of course. Charlotte's been kind of one of our mains. Just under a million. Just under a million, but got a ton of Paragons on that one. And if you're in the rain, the water attack does crazy, crazy good damage. Not water attack, but the, the little volatile thing. And then Duo, we haven't really messed with, but we do have 20 Paragons on it. Doing way, way less, but you can you can get doubles of this guy. Definitely not anywhere near what the other guys are. And then our big Giga. Giga does pretty good as well. 6 million with a headshot. Usually like we're on 1 million if it's like a body shot. So definitely pretty good there. And then last but not least would be our Gigantopithecus. But anyways, that's kind of... Kind of gives you a setting of where everybody's at stat-wise. I think we're good with that now. That was quite a few minutes doing that instead of what we should be doing, which is taking these guys and getting them leveled up through Prime and Apex. So I need a Spino Saddle and a Therry Saddle if we have it. And if we don't, we'll make one, but it just won't be as strong. So let's go like so. Hold on, we'll look in here first. So Spino, a not good one. And Therry. There's Zeno got a 50 and a 53 and then the saddle box over here let's go there is Zeno oh. there is Zeno I've got a 73 there you go and then we've got for the Spinos a 64 there we go perfect okay well, let's go ahead and imbue both these and we could I, I won't play with the imbues for very long we'll just go ahead and get it done quickly so there that one choose essence type apex and boom. Nice. And then this one. Hit it. Oh, that's a bunch. Agar reduced. Nature down. Man, that guy's going to be beast mode. Awesome. Okay, that'll be fun to play with. Okay, let's go check this out. So I'm going to go over to the arena. Let's get our two buddies here. Get our two buddies there. You're going to chill here for now, but we're going to use you in the next episode. And all right, yeah, let me head over there. Okay, before we start leveling these guys up, I did want to test them real quick. I probably should have just done it on the DPS dummy, but we'll go... Like so, we'll go like so, and we'll just take them to the swamp real quick. 
just kind of get a quick idea of what this guy is doing. He's just elite right now, so he's not going to be super OP or anything. But 56 is not bad. That's a good start. Check what we're doing over here. Definitely not bad. Doesn't have a special attack because he's just utility. But I want to have dinos from every single variant that we can take whenever we find like a mini boss so we can take him into battles. That's not too bad. We could definitely get some things going here. We have a bunch of levels to put in too, so I can do that real quick. So, yep, watch out for that. Let's go ahead and do all the levels. We're at one, two, three, one, two, three, two million. Let's get you way up. Yeah, we could definitely get through some kills pretty quick on this guy. So he's sitting at already 19 kills. Got to get up to 800. I don't have a lot of Paragon Souls for Spinos. So that's something we'll have to think about. But other than that, I'm just going to grab the Souls and the Essence. Everything else I don't want. There you go. And drop it all. Okay. This guy's going to be pretty good. That'll definitely be a lot of fun to level him up, get him through Prime. And then we'll grab... Oh, let's bring the Theory over. Dino Theory. This is the Harvesting Theory. So I want to test this guy out on a resource dino to see really what he does. But just starting off, we are at 67. So beast mode, actually. Nice. We should do way more damage to resource guys, right? I think. We'll have to... We'd have to find one, but... But yeah, definitely nice. This guy gathers like crazy. And he should have the harvesting power that will be a little bit crazy like so. There you go. <laughs> Just gather a ridiculous amount. What is that? That light? I'm not sure what's going on with that. That's crazy. Okay. But yeah. And then I didn't... I guess I should check. Does that little AoE on this guy, does it actually do damage to anybody? Let me see. Uh, it does, but very, very minimal. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that little guy was. I couldn't even get him. Okay, cool. So this guy, I'm going to have to turn off his harvesting. Otherwise, it's going to be a nightmare, though. Unless we want to harvest with him. Oh, there we go. Take out those guys. And then I assume same thing with this guy. Probably a ridiculous amount of... Oh, oh what is this guy? Oh, here we go. A stone. Do you do more damage to a stone? Oh, you do. Oh, that did 400,000. So this guy is going to be who we take on the resource di dinos with. All right. Let's get all of the souls. That's all I want. And the essence. And the stat. Okay. Let's get these guys leveled up here. So we're going to go back to the arena. And we'll do a couple boss fights. We could do just a little bit of taming. I brought kibble just in case. So I'm going to do just like one or two rounds of, of taming. I don't want to spend much time doing this. Let's go preset one, and then we're going to change it to, what are we on? Utility. Utility soul and beacon save. All right. Transfer it. Boom. All right. We'll do, like I said, just, just maybe two rounds of this, and that's it. Because I, I want to move on to actually leveling our guys up today and not spend too much time but taming. But you just never know if you get something really cool out of it. And we still there's still quite a few that we just don't have. I don't have very many elite resource guys. I mean, utility guys, so could be... Oh, geez. A farmer? Wow. The largest farmer ever. Okay. Well, an Arthropleura crafting. Okay. So you need to get knocked out. The largest farmer ever. And then you, 40,000. Knock out the Arthropleura. Oh! Oh! Did I kill him? I didn't realize I did. Oh, man. We are getting wrecked. Okay. That was not supposed to happen. Okay. <laughs> that definitely messed up the tame. We're taming up that Titanosaur. Down to 38% effectiveness. Go away. All right. Oh, we got drops out of it, though. What did I just get? We got a Farmer Paragon Soul and a quest. Kill 6,000 dinos. Okay. But a farmer one. There you go. That's actually perfect for our, our Spino. Uh, no, we don't want you. Okay, one more round and then move on. Okay, Tracker Unicorn. Crafting Terror. Pullman of Scorpius. Come on, Scorpion. All right. Didn't die, I don't think. And... Oh, my bad. Did I hit the wrong thing? Maybe. Okay, let's throw down somebody to do the boss fights today. Let's do 
Let's do Riot. We'll let Riot do a little bit of fighting today. Can we get out of the ground at least? There you go. All right. So now we need to do preset 100. So let's go preset 2. Go personal. Hold on. Utility. Souls. Beacon. 100. Save. Transfer. Boom. Okay. Here we go. This should be... Oh, we got to do tiers. That's right. Basic. Summon. Here we go. Basic. Summon. Basic. Summon. Let's get you a little closer. Should get them coming in pretty quickly here. There you go. <laughs> Take out those guys so quick. Uh, where's the other one? Little wolf guy. Oh my god, this guy's gotten so much stronger. You're a beast, dude. Alright, get these last two over here. And I need to pay attention to which ones, which souls we get, but we'll do that as we go. Alright, select tier basic. Summon and select tier basic summon. Alright, super good. So we'll get these last two over here. There's one. Where's the other one? There we go. There we go. Did we not get you? There we go. Okay, sweet. So that gives us... Do we get a farmer? We did. And did we get a harvesting? We didn't get a harvesting yet. Okay, got to keep going until we get a harvesting. I need two. Two harvestings. Go. First round of those guys. Did I get all of them? There we go. All right, did we get a harvesting? We got one harvesting. And we got one farmer. We need one more of each. Let's do it again. And we can actually level our guys up. No, we'll wait on that. We'll wait on that. All right. Let's go one more round of these guys. Come on. We can get all five in if we hurry. Oh, it's not going to happen if that happens. All right. We might not get five on this one. We might. We'll see. And last one. Oh, no. It's already happening. Okay. Can you... No, no. Don't let him eat me. Nope. Okay. There you go. <laughs> oh, I got, I got toxined. There you go. All right, let's take out everybody else. There we go. Oh, who is this guy? Crafting boss. He was just kind of, kind of beefy. Okay, yeah, I got the little toxin thing. Hopefully, I don't die from that. Can we gather you guys? There we go. Nice. All right. Do we get... We got two souls here. So we got farmer times two and harvest times two. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. All right. Let's do it. So we're going to go... Theory. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's, let's do... Let's do the next round first. Let me do a quick heal. I don't know if that will get rid of the stuff or not. And I'm going to do one more round of that and see if I can get a third of each one of those. And then I need to make sure that I have... Yeah, let, let's do that. Oh, that's going to hurt. That is going to hurt. <laughs> Big old car charge. There we go. Wreck everybody. That was kind of kind of wrecked. <laughs> okay, did we get another farmer? There we go. We got enough farmers. And we still need one more harvester. Okay. Oh, is he already attacking? Good job, dude. <laughs> the trike seems to be a little beefy. There we go. Oh, that was a harvester there. That was it. Okay, we got one of everything. Or, well, three of everything, I'm, I'm saying. Okay. Now, we can go to the Master Souls. We actually got a level. Let's give you some heals just in case. There you go. Give you a little heal to start with. Okay. So now we're going... Oh, I need to make sure that all the souls are over there. Okay. I need a harvester soul. Times two. Farmer soul. Times two. Crafting. Times two. What else do we have? 
Oh, a potion. Oh, did I get that? Maybe I got that over there. I don't even know. Breeding times two. And I'm sure I'm missing one. Harvesting. I'll have to write down what the other one is. Okay, let's go through them. So we're going to go harvesting. And harvesting. We'll do two of those at a time. Let it, let it actually spawn in. Got a bear. And what else we got? And a galley. All right, come here, gentlemen. And face wreck, face wreck. Sweet. Okay, there's our harvesting. Now do the farmer. Come on, let me access. Farmer, summon, and farmer, summon. Okay. Totally missed. Try again. All right, there's one. There we go. Both those guys were super quick. Okay, so we have two of the Master Souls now. We need a few more. Uh, oh, it's not on my inventory. What am I doing? All right. Master. Boom, 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 boom. All right, we got Harvesting and Farmer. And then now we need variant utility. Oh, so potion is the seventh one. Oh, I don't have. I don't think I've gotten any potion ones. Taming. So we got harvesting and farmer. I need taming and crafting next. Taming and crafting. Did I did I get taming? Hold on, tame. Tame. I have one. That's fine. Okay. Taming. Boom. Summon. And crafting. Summon. And come on. Come on. Crafting. Summon. Run, 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 run. There we go. That was a little closer than it should have been. Okay, can we get all of you guys together? Oh, don't run away. There we go, and boom. One down. Two down. Three down. All right, sweet. There's two more. All right. Oh, we got to grab the souls. My bad. And we're going to maybe take on the next guy. I haven't decided yet. Okay, I think these are the last two. If I counted it out correctly, we've got tracker, summon, and we've got... What's the other one? Breeding, summon. Okay. Should be the last two that we got to do. Got a dodo. Where's the other one? There he is. Come here, kangaroo. Okay, that was awesome. Okay, we should have everything we need to do to do the fight. So we'll go like so. Grab the souls again. Every single time. Okay. Grab those. And, oh, boom and boom. There you go, man. We can do the utility master. The question is, do we use this guy? Because he's got that really nice damage. But he doesn't have quite as much health. One, two, three, one, two, three. 82 million, though. I think we'll be okay. So let me grab all the boss souls. Let's grab all of the regular souls. All the essence. And... Heals. I think the rest of this is getting dropped. Okay. All the heals. Okay. I, I've not ever fought a boss with this guy, so I'm a little worried about it. But he's got a decent saddle on. He's got decent health. Here we go. Utility Master. Could be a disaster. Really don't want to lose my guy, so <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it's not that bad. Oh. And then we will we will take one of our guys up to probably the Therry all the way up to Ultimate if we do this. All right. Oh, and it's a big, ugly bird. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Can we do this? I think so. Should we hit him with that? 
Make sure we do a little bit of heal while we're fighting. So we do a million per. I wish it was a little more. Just wait for the cooldown. Yeah, maybe we should have done one of the other guys. Come on, cooldown. But we're, we're, we're whittling through it. It's not too, too bad. There we go. And boom. I don't know if our AoE actually did anything. <laughs> I don't think it did. Okay. Let's go like that, like that. Let's also do a stam potion. Oh, where's my stam potions? Uh oh. Okay, we need stam potions next time. Here we go. Our torpor is going up a little bit, but hopefully that's just because our stamina was down, maybe? Oh, come on. No, no, no. No lag. Not right now. There we go. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I didn't do anything. Our AoE doesn't do anything to this guy for some reason. Yeah, of the bosses, this is one of the easier ones. He doesn't hit super hard, and our guy is pretty strong at this point. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Keep rolling. There we go, 80 million. Come on. Down to 70, final 70. Go faster, big guy. Okay. Yep. And we're actually getting a few dodges in there, too. 50 million to go. Like 35 clicks or so. Go. Come on, come on. Just a little bit left. All right. Down to 23. Chasing this guy around is definitely getting me a little bit dizzy. <laughs> 5 million, 4 million, 2 million, and yes, there it is, man. And I accidentally picked up all the other stuff. Uh, but there you go, man. Get that. Make sure we get that. Make sure we get that. And then the rest can get dropped. All right. Awesome. That means we can take our Theory now up through the levels. So let's do this. We're going to go like so. Ball you up. You did amazing. And now our Theory. One with the saddle. Let's take you on a little killing trip. Okay, let's see how we're doing. So to start with, we are doing, that's right, 67. And then we're going to throw the souls in and get running around doing some damage here. All right, so we have Harvester, Harvesting Boss Soul. Boom. Double up everything. Harvester Master Soul. Double up everything again. And some heal action. Nice. All right, we'll go a little bit of that, a little bit of that, rest into that. So our health looking awesome. Our health now on this guy is, oh, no, it's only 27 million. I thought it was way more. Is that, that can't be right. One, two, three, one, two, maybe. Maybe we need to ball, it, ball him up and put him back down. There you go. Theory. I might... No, yeah, 27 million is it. So really low health-wise. I thought it would be a lot higher. What did you start with? You started with two, where's my health? Here, let's just throw him out. Let's throw this guy out. So we started with, oh, something's going on with these guys. Why does it say you have 11? There it is, 3.9 million, okay. So I guess that's right. It just seems a little lower than usual. Okay, and then I don't think the X is going to do much. Oh, actually, it did, it did really good. There you go. And then we just got to just wreck through dinos and start getting some more paragons on this guy. And I'll go and see if we have some more. There we go. Grab all that. Get his stat potions. We'll have to go to the land of theory so we can actually get some good stuff. There you go. Oh, wipe all you guys out. Nice. Yeah, the, I'm definitely going to have to turn off material harvesting, but then, I don't know. Oh, come on. It's pretty good, though. Let's see. Get these guys. Okay, so 
think he needs a thousand kills, but Apex is not bad. So, oh, 700, so not quite as bad. And then the same or, same or greater shard value, I think the Yetis count as that. Or is it just the Parasurs? I'm not sure. All right, we'll do one quick run down through the cave, and then we'll call it good on this guy. But there you go. That was kind of the point of today is to get this guy up, because now in the next episode, we're going to use this guy to take on... Oh, nice. To take on some of the other guys. And we're going to go ahead and take this guy up to ultimate as well. I just wanted to test him out a little bit before we did. Kind of enjoy... He gathers ridiculous amounts, though. <laughs> the amount that he gathers is awesome. There you go. Like this guy here, he's going to get wrecked. Metal. 600,000 on that guy. Nice. There you go. And he harvests everything, so that makes that awesome. Okay, so let's go with... What is it? Utility? Utility soul. Utility soul. Boom. So 54 million now. Pump nothing but health. 90 million. There you go. All right. A little bit of heals, a little bit of heals. All right, there you go. He's all the way up to ultimate now. So we have an ultimate harvester. 1.8 million. That's awesome. That might have been a resource guy. So, oh, here's a wood guy. <laughs> Definitely getting wrecked. Oh, nice. Just all the resource guys hanging out for me. Yeah, great damage. Nice, man. We can definitely run around this guy in constant trouble. I think he'll be fun to level up just a little bit and then... Use this guy now to take on the resource dinos. And that should be pretty easy to run through the resource dinos on this guy. And then eventually it would be awesome to take this guy all the way up to ancient as well. But we haven't done any ancient dinos yet. We are going to do that. You guys said that we actually don't... Oh, that said prime. Oh, I didn't even realize. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's make sure we have some heals going. Grab everybody close. Man, we got all kinds of stuff going on right now. There we go. Grab all that. Awesome. We're pretty fast on this guy, too. And he attacks so fast with the attacks that it makes it kind of fun. Okay, we got a couple more guys I want to go after. What are you? Gamma Miracle. Oh, yeah, this guy is going to be a, a beast against the resource dino, so that's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to get done today. Let's not ball you up. We learned that we could lose dinos that way, so let's go in here, drop all the things. There you go, man. The new harvesting theory all the way up to ultimate. Absolutely awesome. We'll get you a name here soon. That is awesome, and we got ourselves a couple little dinos, nothing super huge. A tracker unicorn, kind of cool. A farmer, Pullman Scorpius, a farmer, why, I get a lot of farmers, crafting terror bird, and a farmer, Titanosaur, <laughs> the largest farmer ever. All right, I got to work on raptor breeding. I need to work on, are you guys good in terms of stats? I think so. Those guys are good to go. Oh, God, Obsidian. I need to drop all that. I need to do some inventory management. I will see you guys next episode. That was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for all the support. Really do appreciate it. Next episode, we're going to move on to the resource dinos. Have a little bit of fun there. Take those obsidian bears in the background there up through the levels. That'll be our first, like, bears that we've, like, worked on heavy, heavy. So we'll work on that. And we'll go from there, man. So I'm going to keep leveling up some of these guys in the background. And we'll do a little bit of stuff here together. Also, I got that one farmer pair going, which is awesome. All right, guys. See you in the next one. Thank you so much.